This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Principles course. I'm on Unit 3, Intro to Programming, Lesson 8, Creating Functions with Parameters, Puzzle 14. Let's see. Multiple parameters, let's, uh, multiple parameters. Let's make our drawing even more interesting by adding some variety to the color. Cool. And so what I have so far is this image, right? This underwater image, I guess. And obviously mine's going to be a bit different than yours because we've been changing up and adding parameters for the last three uh, or so puzzles. So let's go ahead and see. Um, all right. Add three more parameters called red, green, and blue to your function definition for draw fish, which allow you to set the color of the fish when you call the function. Remember to separate them with commas. That's crucial. All right. So note this means that draw fish will now have four parameters total size, red, green, and blue. Okay. So let's go ahead and look for draw fish. And remember, these are the function calls, right? That's where I'm asking the computer to run that function because the computer won't automatically run functions it will see them right it sees draw background but it doesn't do anything unless i ask it to run draw background and i do that somewhere up here that's a function call and the computer says oh draw background well what's that oh here it is drops down and runs the code inside of it once it's done running that code it just continues on down all right so we need to add more parameters to draw fish and here's our function call, but let's go to the function definition where we create draw fish first and draw fish. Okay, total size, red, green, blue. Oh, all right, so I'll change this over to size if that's their suggestion. Okay, now I need to add some, so I'm going to hit over, over, over. Now, what's really nice about the blocks is they automatically add the commas for you. If you're not in block mode, make sure you are separating each of them with commas. Red, green, blue, All right? So, and that's what we're going to call it. Now, do we use this? Oh, oh, I bet we're going to use it here where we pick the pins RGB, red, green, blue. So I'm going to type in red green and it's grumpy right now because I haven't used all my parameters right blue is defined but you never use it well we're about to boom okay and then is that the only time we pick our colors yes this means that draw fish now is for yep hint inside the draw fish just replace the numbers we got that change the function calls at the top of your code to draw fish yep so now now we have these parameters but we need to actually use them, right? Because, watch. What? Oh, oh, it doesn't understand our function call anymore, right? Because we're not using the parameters we just created. We ask it to draw a fish, and it says, okay, draw a fish. Where's that function? Uh, and it finds it. Okay, I'm going to draw a fish. Size? Okay, well, what was the size? I set it to... I'm going to... I set it to 40 or to 20, right? And so it knows size, but then it doesn't know these other things. It doesn't know red, green, blue. So it doesn't know how to run this. And so we get this error. So now we have to add to our function call, we need something to represent each of those parameters. And if you forget what the red, green, blue thing does, our options... Our options are 0 to 255 right for it think of it as almost as pixels so 255 would be completely red if the other two numbers were zero so i'm gonna go doop, doop, doop. and remember it's red green blue so just to kind of show you what i mean i'm going to do 55 for the red part right red green blue zero and zero and then for this one let's do um here i'll show you two zero for red 255 zero and so I should have a red and a green fish. But uh right? And obviously we can mess with this. Um, let's see. Instead of having it completely green, let's do a bit of green. Mix with some blue, which should be. Oh, yep, a more teal color. Who knows? We can throw in some red in here. And you can kind of have fun with it coming up with your own perfect image oh did i not add to that 
No, that's not pretty. That's definitely not. Now I'm going to spend way too much time on this. Hmm. Yep, that looks good to me. So, we have our parameters, and then we added uh, arguments, or we added things to represent them in our function call. Let's keep going. 